Did you know that when you ask a new question, you get a new answer? Learning is all about asking questions. When you ask questions, you get answers. So if you were to just analyze yourself, what are the questions that you're asking yourself when it comes to learning? So whenever you see something that you don't understand, you said, hey, I will never understand this material. This is too hard for me. Or can you start asking yourself, how can I learn this material? How can I become better at this? When, we, when we're learning something new, we need to learn how to take right notes. So a very important tip that I want to share to you is that whenever we're taking notes, we want to be fast. And also, we don't want to write everything down. Usually, we tend to write everything the person is saying. And we get frustrated because it, when we see a PowerPoint, we want to write everything. But I want to give you one tip that's going to just transform the way you take notes. And as well, you're going to be able to recall as much information as when you're listening to the person. So when you grab a notebook, grab a notebook and divide the notebook in half. Okay, so just grab a... a a paper and in a pencil and just put a line in the middle of the page and you're going to title the page you know of what the lesson is about on the left side you're going to start writing everything the person is saying the facts the things that you can just see from what the person is is writing down or saying that is important now on the right side, you're going to write down something very creative. So there's three questions I want you to ask yourself. How can I use this? Why must I use this? When must I use this? So let me repeat those questions again. On the right side, you're going to write the three questions. Okay. How can I use this? When must I use this? And why must I use this? When you have a strong reason why you must use this kind of information, it tends to just become something that like purpose. Because when you have a strong enough reason why, it transforms into a purpose. It, it transforms into a goal. So whenever we're trying to learn something, you have to know that you have to put yourself in the right state. You have to have, be rested. You have to be relaxed. You have to be in, in that in that uh, position where you're you tend to want to learn. Now, the question you should ask yourself all the time, whether you watch a but a podcast, whether you're watching a YouTube video, whether you're watching a, a motivational speaker, uh, whatever you're doing that it tends to want to lead you to learn, you need to ask yourself those three questions. How can I use this? Why must I use this? By when must I use this? Because information, knowledge is not a power. And the reason I say that it's not power, because if you don't act upon it, you end up losing it. So if you want knowledge to become power, you need to add it with action. But for that to be an action, for you to take it into an action, you need to start first writing it down. It's so important uh, for people to get to know themselves and, and not only being able to take good notes, but also be able to journal. When you journal, you're putting everything into paper. You're just writing everything that you have in your mind into paper and, and you end up becoming conscious of your thoughts and conscious of yourself and your emotions. And that is very important. But that's why journaling is is something that all critical thinkers should have in their hand in handy because whenever you're you're probably taking a shower or you're probably taking a walk or you're probably taking a run eventually a creative idea comes in and in three five seconds it's gone so whenever we 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 tend to just go out take take a small journal take something small take a piece of paper uh, and, and a pencil and be able to capture those thoughts whether they're positive whether they're ne negative capture those thoughts write it in the paper be conscious of them and you're going to start seeing results in your life so really fast i'm going to recall i want to review really fast what we i tend to want to teach you and for you to learn if you want to, to get a new answer, you have to ask yourself a new question. Stop asking yourself the same question and expecting a different result. Most of your behavior is because of the question you're asking yourself. So ask a new question so you can get a new answer. Secondly, you have to grab a, a, a journal whenever you're, you're, you're watching a class or you're watching a podcast, you know, grab a journal, divide, divide the, the, pa the paper into half. And on the left side, you're going to write down 
everything that you're watching, everything that you're seeing, everything that you think is important. And on the right side, you're going to write the three questions. You're going to answer those three questions. How can I use this? Why must I use it? And when must I use this? And then from that, you also have to know, okay, that journaling is important because it captures all your thoughts into paper. And, and sometimes we're scared to write our negative thoughts, our fears. Sometimes we're scared to to want to show our vulnerability. But show it in paper. Show it in paper. Any idea, any imagination that you put in paper start becoming real because you already started taking action. And you end up to re, you end up recalling more whenever you end up taking notes. Whenever you end up you know putting things down. So I want to challenge you. I want to challenge you that if you want to learn faster, you want to learn, you have to put it down into paper. You have to put it down into paper. And it's not about how much notes that I take, because usually we take notes and we just leave it on the side. No, no, we have to know that there's a learning curve. Okay, so whenever you, you learn something new, you, you will tend to learn it by the next day you forgot it. So in the learning curve, you learn something by one hour, you review it by one day, you review it. And then by one week, you review it. And then by one month, you review it and it end up becoming a long term memory. I hope this video was very helpful for all those people that are wanting to challenge themselves and wanting to become the best they can be in their life and in their learning. Thank you so much.